Eric Mother, mother.com with a quick response as to whether you can buy this tomorrow and it is for Indian Oil Corporation. The question is whether you can play the breakout as of the next trading session. Now, what I'm going to talk about here is the 5% rule. And this rule just tries to keep us out of trouble and tries to stop us from chasing instruments. By the way, the buy point on the monthly is the previous recent monthly closing high. And let's just tackle that first and foremost. So that buy point happens to be at 3 to 3.50 and the stock does meet the minimum requirement in fact it meets all the minimum requirements no problem as far as the MACDs trading at three year highs this is not even an issue on this one we can see that the RSI is trading above 69.1 as long as the RSI on the monthly is above 69.1 MACD is trading well there RS, I mean RSI trading well MACDs are at three-year highs if not all-time highs so definitely it does meet the minimum requirement just to have this here for the record the previous weekly closing high is also something we can watch here or at least we can take a look at to see whether it's close to the buy point so we see here 323.95 is the weekly buy point based on the weekly closing high for October 2016 and the daily buy point we can see here is right here and that daily buy point was or is at 326.50 so that's the daily closing high so if you are to play this breakout either on the daily weekly air and or on the monthly one thing you can see here is that it is above more than five percent from the any of these buy points which means that right now you would be chasing so from a purely timing standpoint yes you can always go and buy the stock based on the quality of the breakout no problem with that right you can buy the breakout but you have also have to put this in perspective and the perspective number one is that it is about five percent usually we want to buy it within the five percent window so ideal situation is to buy it within a five percent window and that window as of right now is a little bit on the extended side we are above that five percent window so which means in essence that you'd be buying it here if you did knowing that it is extended you can wait to see whether it gets a pullback and come back within that 5% window or actually the best thing to do is let's just say you wanted to buy a hundred shares as an example you can always take up a position and maybe buy 20 shares for now just in case the stock might be on its way to to 600 or or on its way to 450 heck even we we'll take 400 right heck even 380 will take any of these gains but since we don't know that it's gonna pull back before that and we don't want to chase what we can do is start building a position so to answer your question I would go back to the 5% rule 5% rule just tells you that the best time to buy an instrument on a breakout level is not more than 5% even though you don't know that it can go beyond that without a pullback so what you do you can take up a partial position start building building your position if it pulls back within that five percent window then you can start adding on to the other portion of your before you get fully uh, filled on the position so five percent a little bit extended but you never really give up on a stock because of five percent you can always chase it here by beginning to build on your position there is no need to buy your let your lot of 100 shares on our example all at once no need you can always build your position over time and your average cost basis could be just under five percent ideally and see what happens this way if the stock is not going to pull back you, you at least have some representation by your initial purchase eric mother with mother.com as always good luck peace and Blessings, E-R-C-S, mwah, woo!